and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Boros Knights in best of one. This list here was a 5-0 list um, probably about a week ago or so. I can't remember if it came out on like the 24th or the 31st of October. One of those two. But it was a 5-0 list that, that looked pretty good that um, looks like it just attacks a whole lot. And I was like, you know, I want to play that deck but I, and I want to play it in best of one. So yeah, we got, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, we got 12 one drops and then a whole bunch of two drops. And we're just trying to, you know, play creatures, go wide with Worthy Knight. Um, I mean, go wide with our just all of our creatures in general. We have Inspiring Veteran, make these knights a little bit larger. Venerate Luxodon is a good payoff for going wide. Get this thing out there. And then, of course, Ember Cleave at the top end. Ember Cleave is just very powerful. Such a good card here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of like what our deck's all about. You know, Claim Contender gives us a little bit of card advantage. Bone Crusher Giant's a removal spell that also just turns into a 4-3 that's kind of hard to deal with. You know, like, we're just we're just trying to attack. That's all we're going to be doing here. We'll see. We're going to be playing uh, seven games in best of one. Again, like, there's a sideboard here, because if you like playing best of three, you can play this in best of three. This was the sideboard. Like, this was the 75 that the, that the person went 5-0 with on Magic Online, so they were playing best of three. Um... Cosmotronic Wave, I guess, against, like, small creature, like, basically against, like, the decks they're trying to block a bunch. You know, maybe, like, Simic decks or something they're trying to block um, that don't really have much removal. Uh, maybe you'd play this over, like, I don't know, maybe instead of Venerate Luxon or something. But, yeah, creatures your opponent control can't block this turn. You can get some some lethals in with that. I'm not really sure what Un Unchanged Berserker is for, honestly. There's not very many white decks at all. I'm not really sure why this deck would ha why you'd have this in your sideboard. I'm not sure, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, that's true. The Cosmotronic Waves is very good against Adventures too. Anyway, let's play some best of one with Boros Knights. We're gonna go seven zero here in an, a half hour. That's the goal. Get some. This is a good rank up deck because you can just play your game so fast. So we get pretty good hand here. We got one drop, then Worthy Knight. Wouldn't mind another land for the acclaimed contender up next. Because right now, we don't have a good turn three. We got a t good turn one and turn two, but we don't have a good turn three right now. Okay, better. Now we'll have a good turn three. So wouldn't mind drawing Ember Cleave. Unsummon. So I guess we're playing against Simic Flash. All right, so I went with Rimrock Knight instead of a acclaimed contender because if they let Rimrock Knight resolve, then we would have been able to just go venerated Luxodon here also with our four creatures. It did not resolve though. Kind of 
Kind of the same thing here. Down, 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 down. This is probably going to be a game-winning turn for us. If they just go Sinister Sabotage again. Just putting eight power into play for one mana. One mana, eight power. It's pretty good. There we go. I already picked up a win. Five minutes and 40 seconds into recording. So however long I took talking. <laughs> yeah, our hand was awesome. Being on the play. That can win games very fast. Ugh. Hawkeye likes sitting up here and making it kind of difficult on me, so I'd always put him on my lap, but then he want, he just wants to sit up on the table, though. <laughs> you going to go tell a giant that he ain't a knight? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm not telling that bone crusher giant that he's not a knight. Hmm. One lander. Urban champion. We got one of those. This is all cool though. I haven't gotten to Fervent Champion in the mastery system yet. Alright, I don't know why I attacked. That was just a bad attack by me. I should do I should definitely be blocking. I guess I kind of assumed the Fervent Champion was going to die. A one-drop knight would be amazing. I would love to draw a one-drop knight here. And be able to go worthy knight plus one-drop knight. No, uh, the the third land and the Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, that hurts. So if I play a Claim Contender right now, I don't get anything. But it blocks these things. It doesn't let them just throw in the Fervent Champions, but I guess if they have a land, uh, we're in a really rough spot. All right, so I should have just played the Sacred Foundry, not the Montagna. Yes, there was a Pioneer Band announcement today. Um, three cards got banned. Felidar Guardian. Oath of Nyssa and Leyline of Abundance. All right, we got out aggroed. All right, one on one. One and one. Hmm. 
Hmm. No early stuff. I mean, it's hard to mulligan three lands and four spells. All right, so I'm going to keep it. And then no early stuff. I mean, we do have, like, the Bone Crusher Giant that we get for two mana. So they're probably going to play something to kill. Ugh. That is not something to kill. Paradise Druid with that Hexproof is so strong. So strong. So Ember Cleave. So I want them to Ember Cleave the Paradise Druid. Just hold, holding out the Bone Crusher Giant there on like turn two and turn three ended up just being a terrible mistake that I deeply regret. If they re-equip Ember Cleave, I die. No, they can just do that also. I, I could, I, so I didn't want to just shock the 3-2 that turn, like during my turn. Man, Hexproof's rough. I didn't want to just shock the 3-2 during my, t my turn. Ow, okay. Because then they would definitely just re-equip Ember Cleave. I mean, I needed just to play a lot faster. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. All right. Good hand. Got a lot of one drops. Just got to draw some kind of top end now. Like last game where we had all of our top ends. Yeah, that hand was kind of out of control. <laughs> Vervin Champion is nuts when you pair him up. All right, so four games in 15 minutes so far, including the intro and everything.
That hand was nuts. But I went turn one Gilded Goose, which people think is the best turn one play in the format, and then concede before taking a turn two. Another really good hand here. <laughs> yeah, we need more opening hands like that. Yeah, Fervent Champion. Great card. Um, I think I just attack. Oh, I can't. Rimrock Knight. I need I need Sacred Foundry in play. See, Hawkeye, <laughs> you. That's why you can't just sit here. It's so hard for me to play. <sighs> All right. Well, they get the Leafkin Druid for a turn. So I might as well just play this thing then. Because yeah, like this, the Boulder Rush is just an instant that you know doesn't get cast off of tr tournament grounds. Wow, well that really hurt. Wow, that that play of not playing my Sacred Foundry first really hurt. So is the best option just to go wide and just play everything, or do I attack? Do you have Vigilance? No, you don't have Vigilance. I kind of think I just want to play everything. I don't get... Mm. So basically, I could play this, 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 and then tap all five things for Venerate Luxodon. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to just attack. Down to two. Thunderkin Awakener. I'm not sure why they shocked for the breeding pool. The breeding pool. All right. Like, none of these games, like, five minutes is, like, the maximum amount of time for these games. <laughs> yeah, for Veil of Summer. It's thinking, like, Mystical Dispute. In case I cast a blue spell. I like being on the draw. Ugh. On the draw against Mono Red. This is how we lost before on the draw against Mono Red. We'll see if we can put up a little bit better showing than last time when we were on the draw against Mono Red.
Like, they just have Bone Crusher Giant in hand, right? Like, would I rather than Bone Crusher Giant the Inspiring Veteran? I don't think so. Uh, don't want to draw another Ember Cleave. Hey, Mayo, good morning. No, not gonna try double block and get that blown out by a removal spell. Dang. Another skewer. Dang. Seems like Model Red's kind of a tough matchup for us. They have like the same kind of threats, but they have this very cheap removal as well. Okay. We get to Worthy Knight and Fervent Champion next turn. That's not it's not the worst. It's not so bad. So much removal. So jealous. Don't really know the plan of winning from here. Drawing Bone Crusher Giant, maybe? All right, three and three. So mono red on the draw is pretty tough for us. Um, besides that, you know, like we're doing really good. The other match that we lost, I think I played pretty poorly. You know, we're three and one against non mono red. And again, I think I kind of played pretty poorly. Oh man, why can't we be on the play? Hey, Psy PT.
Hey, Maya. Thanks for the bit. All right, time to attack. If they if they have instant speed removal, that would not be great. So they're gonna block there. Like if they have like Bone Crusher Giant, that'd be really bad for me. Okay, that's not as bad as Bone Crusher Giant because we at least get to keep the Rimrock Knight. I know, if we would have just gone first. I know, right? That's aggressive. That probably means Umber Cleave. We keep on getting beat by Umber Cleave when we have three in our deck. Can we draw Umber Cleave? Oh, just a weasel. Is that lethal? Seven, eight, nine. Yay. Yay. Champion. So there we go. So that's Boros Knights. You know, uh, you know, does not take very long to play the games here. Um, yeah, Fervent Champion would have been lethal as well. Yep. Because Fer Fervent Champion is two power. You know, one for itself, plus it, it pumps another one. A actually, technically, Fervent Champion would have been three, three damage. So, technically, Fervent Champion would have been another point of damage. Because that's right, because it got pumped by the Inspiring Veteran. I forgot about that. So, it would have been three, three damage. <laughs> yeah, the 30-minute league. Um... Okay, so we went, so we went four and three. Um, we went zero and two against Mono Red on the draw. So we were four one in the other games, and the other loss was a game that I think I just played really poorly. It was also against Gruel, and we got Ember cleaved and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do think this is just a good a good best of one deck. Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pick up some losses uh, to other aggro decks, especially how we don't have much. Um, removal, but if you're on the play and you have your good hand, you're going to win games and you're going to win games really fast. And so if you want to just rank up and, you know, you want to just, you have like an hour and you want to just play a ton of, as many games as you can in an hour, playing this in best of one is a really good option. You know, we were on like a, a 15 games in an hour pace, 15 games per hour pace there. So yeah, good rank up deck. Um, I guess there is a quite a bit of rares. I was going to say not very many rares, but actually, never mind, because this is a rare, this is a rare, uh, this is rare, rare, rare. Yeah, and then Mythic. So yeah, it has has does use some wild cards. Maybe you've been drafting Throne of Eldraine a good amount and have all, some of these cards, though, also. Um, but yeah, that's Boros Knights. Super fast. I do like this deck more in best of one than best of three, also. I think it's a better best of one deck than a best of three deck. 
All right, uh, that's it here for Boros Knights, though. Again, so if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, leave a comment, do both of those. I would appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Boros Knights, and I'll see you for the next video.